हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सी सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस सो इन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वी विल सी द डिफरेंट मेथड्स टू सॉल्व क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस हाउ टू फाइंड roots of quadratic equation then what is the relation between root and coefficients so let's start so here there are polynomials are given and we have to classify that polynomial is linear or quadratic polynomial so we can see here 5x plus 9 so this is a linear polynomial this one is linear polynomial so how we can conclude this is a linear polynomial the polynomial whose degree is 1 it is called as linear polynomial you can see here jis polynomial ki degree 1 hoti hai use linear polynomial kaha jata hai aur jis polynomial ki degree 2 hoti hai use क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमेल कहा जाता है डिग्री सो एक्स डिग्री सो लीनियर पॉलिनोमेल दिस वन क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमेल quadratic polynomial so we can write here 5x plus 9 then 3x minus 7 then in quadratic x square plus 3x minus 5 then 3x square minus 5x and last one 5x square so in this way we can classify these polynomials getting now we move to the next part how to find the coefficients of that polynomial so see here first polynomial is this and coefficient they have already computed here 1 3 and 5 so we can see x square coefficient is 1 then x coefficient is 3 and last one is 5 then second polynomial 3 x square so coefficient is 3 then Minus five. Then zero. This one is zero. Then constant are minus five in second zero, and in last zero. 
getting so in this way we can find out the coefficient of x square x and constants already we have seen this in ninth standard again we have revised this so now how to write a polynomial in standard form so see this is the general form of polynomial and using this we have to complete this activity so see this this is a quadratic polynomial and general form is written like there is no x term so we have written instead of x they have written here zero x so if we add zero x so that polynomial will not change but that x is missing so in general form we have to write the missing terms and now we can compute the coefficient 1 0 and minus 4 so like this we have to write this polynomial in general form how we can write y square minus 2 come to the left side so it will become minus and minus 7 it will become plus 7 is equal to 0 then coefficients 1 y coefficient minus 2 and constant is 7 then next x square plus 2x here constant is missing so we will write plus 0 is equal to 0 now coefficients x square 1 x coefficient 2 and constant is 0 so getting all of you in this way we can convert a quadratic polynomial into the general form and we can find out the coefficients a b and c then these are some solve examples so some missing lines are there so that will be solved first so what we have to do here decide which of the following is quadratic equations so that we have to decide so here first they have solved this one its degree is we can see x square power is 2 and there are two variables so we can conclude that this is a quadratic equation so now let's check here So here in that polynomial y is only variable and maximum degree of that variable is 2. So this is polynomial or not, a quadratic equation or not, this is already polynomial but we have to conclude that this is the polynomial or not then third one uh, 
एम क्यूब माइनस फाइव एम स्क्वायर प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो हेयर वी कैन क्लियरली ऑब्जर्व एम पावर इज थ्री सो दिस इज नॉट अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन so here is variable is m and its power is 3 so this is not a quadratic equation next here they have solved this bracket and they got this one so here l is the variable and its maximum degree is 2 so this is a quadratic equation getting all of you how we can check then roots of a quadratic equation how we can calculate the roots so we will solve this example if x is equal to 5 is a root then find the value of k so one of the root what they have given that is 5 so now put x is equal to 5 in the equation so we replace x by 5 so now when we solve this 5 square is 25 and 14 into 5 is 70 then we have to do subtraction of this minus 75 or minus 70 minus 5 minus 75 Then twenty five k is equal to seventy five because we are taking minus seventy five to the right side, it will become plus. Then k is equal to seventy five divided by twenty five. Twenty five one by twenty five, and twenty five three is a seventy five. So k's value will be three. So in this way, we can find out the k's value if they have given the quadratic equation and its root. So now we will solve the practice set. Write any two quadratic equations. so quadratic equation we can write like this so you can see here quadratic equation i can write like this x square plus 5x plus Six is equal to zero. So this is one quadratic equation. Now next, 
I can write m square plus 7m plus 10 is equal to 0. So any two quadratic equation you can write. The next question second here we have to decide which of the following are quadratic equation. So here power is 2. So this is a quadratic equation. Again here is power 2 and y is also there. So this is also quadratic equation. Then here we can say there is under root of 1 divided by y. So when we have to cancel this, then we have to multiply that equation by y. So this will become y cube. So this is not a quadratic equation. Here maximum power is 1 only. So this is not a quadratic equation. When we solve these two, we will get m into m, m square. So this is a quadratic equation. And this is not a quadratic equation. Getting all of you in this way, we can check. Next, we have to find out the values of A, B, C. So, for that, I will share the whiteboard for you. So question number three. Two y is equal to ten minus y square. Two y is equal to ten minus y square. So we have to write this equation into the general form or standard. So we will take y square to the left side. So y square plus 2y is equal to 10. Then again, we take 10 to the left side. y square plus 2y is minus 10 is equal to 0. Getting? y square was minus so it become plus and 10 was plus so it becomes minus when we change the side then sign becomes opposite so now coefficient of y is 1 so a is value is 1 coefficient of y is 2 so b is 2 and constant is minus 10. So these are the values of A, B, C. Getting? So in this way, you can solve other examples. Then second example.
x minus 1 bracket square is equal to 2x plus 3. So here again, we have to solve this. So let me share my whiteboard. And the question is x minus 1 bracket square. Is equal to 2x minus 3. So first we have to solve this bracket. So we know that we have to first do the square of first number x square. So here is minus. So minus 2 into first number into second number. So 2 into x into 1 x plus second number square, one square one, and two x minus three. Now, take these two to the left side. So, x square minus two x plus one, two x becomes minus, and minus three become plus when we take to the left side. Now, minus 2x minus 2x it will become minus 4x this will not cancel because signs are same so its addition will happen and sign is minus then plus 1 plus 3 4 now x square coefficient is 1 so a is value is 1 x coefficient is minus 4 and constant is 4. So this is the answer of second question. Next question. So these are the practice questions for you. Then next question we will see is question number four. Determine whether the values of quadratic equation and here we have to check these are the roots of quadratic equations or not so first one is x square plus 4 
x minus five is equal to zero, and its roots are one and minus one. They have given, so we have to check that roots are correct or not. So for this, we have to put that values in the quadratic equation. So let me share my whiteboard. I will show one example. Then you can solve. Next one. x square plus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0 and roots they have given plus 1 and minus 1 so put that values so it will become 1 square plus 4 into 1 minus 5 Is equal to zero. Five is equal to zero. So five minus five is equal to zero. Means we are getting zero. So that's why x is equal to one is the root of this equation. Then let's check for minus one. Minus one square plus four into minus one minus five is equal to zero. Minus one square minus one into minus one, so one get that minus get cancel minus into minus, so it will become one four into minus one, so it will become minus four. Minus five. Therefore, one minus nine is equal to zero. So minus eight is not equal to zero. So x is equal to minus one is not a root of quadratic equation. Yes. So in this way, we can solve third example. So second example, you can try. Then fifth, find k's value, and they have given a root and the quadratic equation. So let's try this. So quarter equation is k x square. Minus ten x minus three is equal to zero plus three plus three they have given and its root is given three so we will put x is equal to three in the equation 
so k into three square minus ten into three plus three is equal to zero. Three square nine. Ten into three thirty plus three as it is equal to zero. Nine k minus twenty seven is equal to zero. Nine k is equal to minus twenty seven goes to the right side. It will become plus nine become division divide. We have to divide twenty seven by nine. So nine three sir. So this is the answer. Last question. So root they have given. I will solve in this PDF only. So root the heavy one minus seven by five. Then put minus seven divided by five in the equation. So minus seven divided by five square, and we will put instead of m. Then we have to compute the values of that. So here it will become seven square forty nine into five. So it will become. Forty nine divided by five. Seven square forty nine, and five square twenty five. But we have to. We can cancel one five. Five one the five five, five the twenty five. So twenty forty nine divided by five. Then. Seven two the minus fourteen divided by five. Then the numerator is same, so we can add that two numerators. So it will become thirty four divided by five. So when we goes to the Right side it becomes minus thirty four divided by five. So this will be the answer. So today we stop here. Subscribe this channel, like, share, and comment, and click on the bell icon so that you will get notifications of upcoming videos. So stay tuned. will meet in next video